Hi everyone, welcome to another hand simulator tutorial. Today we're taking a look at the AK-47. The AK-47 is the second weapon you unlock in the single player shooting gallery, though at this point in the game there's no multiplayer mode that uses AK-47s, though that would be cool. Now to load the AK-47 is actually quite easy compared to the revolver, though there are a couple of quirks which you might have to understand before you fire the weapon. Uh, it is surprisingly modelled realistically in the game, and like I said, once you know how to load it, it's very easy to operate, and most of these things you can figure out on your own. Now, to load the AK, it spawns like this, you get three magazines, you only need one really, but there's two there, two more there. So, what you should do is grab hold of the AK in your left hand, that will keep from moving too much. The second thing you do is you knock the extra magazines away, you don't need all of them, you just need one. Now loading the AK magazine is a bit more straightforward than it looks and it might be easy to do so accidentally in your first attempt. What you do is to grab the magazine obviously and you can't ram the magazine straight into the magazine well, you need to rock it in. So you need to touch it slightly and then you want to rock it back and forward and once you see that the magazine lips have entered the feed, you can either rock it gently back and forward until it gets in or you switch hands and you rock the rifle downwards and that will lock it in. If you want to unload the magazine for whatever reason, there is a magazine release latch right there in front of the trigger. So just knock that and it comes out. If you don't hold it, it flies straight out. But in case you want to be fancy and load a second magazine or practice reloading, then you can do that. So let's try it a second time. We'll angle it back forward. That's slightly clumsy. This is how handsome it works. So let's try it again. And see, that's a pretty good angle for the magazine. I want to feed it gently inside, rock it back and forward. There it is. And you can snap it in like that. Again, you can either snap the magazine in by rocking it back and forward till it clicks, or you sl uh, slide the rifle so that it uh, falls into place. That's really it. All you do is get the angle right, rock it back and forward, and then it clicks inside. Now that you have the AK loaded, you can then palm it over to your right hand. And as if everything in hand simulator, you do it carefully. You align it with your right hand as close as possible. That's not too bad. So what I like to do all the time is to test the trigger. Now the key here, and this is more so with the Colt and the uh, revolver, is to align the middle finger with the trigger guard. And that should give you a pretty close uh, alignment with the trigger. You're going to be a little more careful with this. You can't grip the AK properly of course, so that's pretty good. So test the trigger. You can see the trigger is pulled very clearly and then we can swap hands. Now one thing you should really do is to set the AK onto single shot. By default it is on full automatic. The fire select lever is right there in front of your trigger and you push it down to the very bottom. Make sure it's the very bottom, that is single shot. Uh, the AK is very uncontrollable on full automatic, more so in hand simulator because you can't shoulder the rifle. You are stuck with your torso in the uh, straight position, therefore the rifle will jump everywhere on full automatic. And the AK is quite glitchy, so the bolt assembly will fly out, the magazine will drop, so it's very hard to control on full automatic. So single shot, if you actually want to hit something, full auto if you just want to have fun and see how you can control it. The other thing you must do, and this is not an optional thing, this is a must, you must rack the bolt. The bolt uh, handle, whoops, let's get the steering by glitchiness, that is actually quite frustrating. So that will happen quite often with the AK-47. Okay, we have the AK under control now. A uh, bit of a pro tip, the butt stop often causes glitches. Uh, if it hits your body, the game doesn't really respond very well. So make sure you leave it off to the side so you don't hit yourself. Now, as I was saying, what you need to do is to rack the bolt. The bolt handle is on the front of the receiver, and the best way to do this is to curl your pinky finger, the A key by default. You'd load onto the latch or the handle, and then you just pull it back like that. And with a bit of practice, you can get done in one shot, and make sure you put it down like that and it slides forward and it sounds amazing. Now the weapon is in firing condition as 
you can see. Oh, I got an 8 with that. Nice. That's right in the groin. But more to the point, you want to see where you're aiming and hold it somewhat properly. You, of course, need to raise the weapon. Now, the problem with the AK is that you have to hold the entire weight on one hand, and that's uncontrollable. And it will often cause the weapon to glitch out. So if you fire it one handed, which you wouldn't really do in real life, uh, and you can see the problem with aiming the thing is there's no support for it. So let's swing it forward, have a bit of fun with one shot, and there we go. We got it here. You see the rifle does kind of glitch out. So that doesn't work too well. So what you should do is figure out a way to hold with two hands. Now, while you can hold the weapon two hand under grip or magazine, it's really hard to do so because in this game, you can't really shoulder the weapon. If you try to push it against you, your other hand will kind of push the rifle out. Yeah, it's possible, but it's really hard to do and I don't find it worthwhile. Instead, what I do is I hold it the way a rifle shooter would hold in real life when firing from a bench. That is to hold it by the buttstock. And surprisingly, this is quite effective at aiming the weapon. So if you need more control, left and right, you just hold it in place. And it takes a bit of practice to do. You hold it there. You switch to the other hand. And now you see you have much more control. Now aiming is a lot harder. You still have up and down control. So it is possible. And save the left hand. You can move it up or down for some extra fine movement. And you aim kind of opposite like that. You, fire the tr you pull the trigger off to the right, so sweep over to the right a bit, a bit more to the right. Uh, we're getting some, we've got the arm. I'll switch the, uh, I'll move the rifle across a bit more. You see aiming is nearly impossible, but you can basically aim by feel. Here we go, it's a bit better. You have a better alignment this way perhaps. See this point to the right. Uh, we'll try and get the uh, weapon to move over just a bit more. Okay. Oh. Don't want to do that. Alright, let's have a few more tries of this. If it doesn't work. You simply let go of your other hand and then move it over and realign. But once you get it right, it's actually quite satisfying to shoot. There we go, swing it around, left hand. What swings back in place? Bang. Not, not I missed a grip there. This isn't, a, this isn't a bad idea. Okay, that's not too bad. Hey, this is almost like cheating in a way. Alright, let's see how far, how good our aim is at the moment. That's way off to the right, but I can bother. So let's switch again. Push it over. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Alright, okay. Line it up. Fire. Fire. Four. Left arm. Bit more to the right. Eight. Right in the groin. Same place in the groin. That's a bit too soon there. The score doesn't register every shot, which is why 4 automatic isn't a good thing because you've got all the points. But uh, if you want to accumulate points, this is a very easy way to do so. I mean, you could align for heart shots if you're really uh, fancy. But this is a very effective way of controlling the AK. And you've got 30 rounds in your magazine, so you have a lot of fun with this. That's how you do it. That's how you uh, fire the weapon and actually rack up points. And once you do so, you unlock the achievement for getting the uh, 500 points. As well as the uh, Colt no, M1911. Whoops. And this is the... Oh, you can see that the gun's glitched. The, um, the bolt has uh, snapped. And now I'm firing a full automatic. But hey, why not? You can see how uncontrolled wood is. Even with two hands. And our magazines are empty. So, there we go. So, from the beginning, spawn the AK. Grab the rifle with your left hand. Push it slightly forward. Grab the magazine. So slide the magazine in, let it hit the magazine well until it feeds, and then lock it in, either using the rifle or using the magazine itself. And then you swap hands, drop the rifle, flip it over to your right hand. Be careful not to hit the box on your hand. Align it with your grip. And then finger the trigger. And then you... Put it on single shot, if that's what you want to do. And then you grab the bolt handle, using your pinky. Pull it down. Let it slide forward, and your gun is now fully operational. So, there you have it. We'll try and control it with the uh, left hand. Again, 
Use both hands to align the weapon. Grab it. Whoa, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Swing it back more to the left. Grab it. Perfect. And now you've got a fully functioning AK-47. Perfectly aimed at the target's groin. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Enjoy Hand Simulator. And maybe I'll see you next time.